Hi son, this is yet another RZ channel. And today I'll give you the files for the boom, the arm and the bucket on the big uh, excavator over here. I'll give you a quick tour and uh, then I'll uh, give you the link to uh, the video where I assemble it. I'll also have a lot of links down in the description for uh, hardware I've used. Those are affiliate links, which means that uh, if uh, a lot of you guys buys a lot of this stuff, I might get a few bucks. So thank you very much. So I got to test it in some real heavy dirt or real heavy sticky sand a few weeks back and everything held up great. Even this uh, actuator which is 3D printed. I'll leave the files but I do not trust it. It will break probably sooner rather than later. So the solution up here is much better. It's a metal tube with a 12mm outer diameter and 10 millimeter inner di diameter. I hammered it flat in the end and split it, bent it and screwed it to the T8 nut. These are the motors for the actuators. Links uh, in the description. They are 160 RPMs. I think they might be a tad fast, but they are more than plenty strong enough. These are all 150 millimeter long T8. T8 rods with nuts. The top one is still 150 millimeters, but uh, I cut down the one to the bucket and and the one for the boom. Other than that, there's a lot of M3 bolts and nuts, and also some uh, threaded rod. I guess you just want the files. You can find them in the description. And uh, what can I say? 444 awesome subscribers. And if you're not subscribed yet, you can be just as awesome by hitting that red subscribe button just below the video. I had this idea that if that if you can get me to 500 subs before Easter, I'll give you all the source files for the excavator, all the fusion files, so you can do whatever you like with them. So here's the assembly video of the boom, the arm and the bucket. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.